Hey everybody, this is uh, the Deranged Termit after a quick hat change from Earl of Squirrel. Gonna rant, ramble, yak at you for just a few minutes on two topics. I'm afraid neither one's very long, so we're gonna jump in on two things. One is about the recent Dominaria leaked spoiler list. I have some thoughts on that. Thought I'd share them with the maybe dozen or so of you that are watching this now because I think maybe I'm up to 14 subscribers. Woo. So anyway, um, first off, I hate the internet. Uh, hopefully you all hate it as well. It has now become this necessary evil that we all put up with, if you will. And mainly I hate the internet recently, my most recent reason. Uh, but there are lots of reasons. But the most recent reason to hate the internet is because of the Dominaria leak. And uh, we'll get into two things on that. But number one is, once it's out there, it is very difficult to have the, the I don't know, the fortitude to not look at it. Um, just as a player, and I own a store, so it's a little different. But just as a player, it's very difficult not to look at it. Once you know it's available to get out there and see stuff about something that you have interest in, it's very difficult not to, like movie trailers. Uh, some people uh, go to great lengths not to look at movie trailers because they want to be surprised when they go to the movie. Uh, I don't watch a lot of movie trailers. I'll see some. I mean, uh, but, you know, it's not a hard and fast rule for me. I love spoiler season preview season, if you will, for Magic Cards. I like the slow roll. I like the buildup. And through the years, there's been lots of leaks. Um, we'll, get, we'll get to a, another segment in just a minute that I think exists, but unintentional, accidental, flagrant violation of the IP kind of leaks. Um, I wish people just quit those. You might get your 15 seconds of internet fame. And by the way, it is 15 seconds of internet fame. Used to be 15 minutes when we used TV. Now for the internet, it's just 15 fucking seconds. And, and then nobody remembers you. So if you want your 15 seconds of fame, I'd like you to find some other way to do it rather than spoiling the world for the rest of us. Uh, let, that, let that trickle out in the way that Wizards designed it or whatever it is. I'm sure there are other things it applies to, but I'm, I'm talking primarily about magic. That's, that's what I know, so I'm talking about it. So quit giving us that shot of that sheet that you got laying on your floor of uncut Ixalan cards or the few you snuck out in your underwear or shoved up your ass or however you snuck them out of the factory. Quit showing those to us. Um, let us come about those in a natural way. You, you're really not... You're not pleasing enough people. You're pissing off more people, and that's probably why you're doing it. Because some people just want to watch the world burn, and I probably would like to watch them burn. So, you know, cut that shit out. We, we don't really need it. We'd rather see the regular slow roll. Now, that being said, leakers quit leaking. Um, this, this is an entertainment medium. Let's, let's get that dose in a, in a proper way, and uh, let's let Wizards figure out what that proper way is. I'm fine with that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's how I get a large percentage of my entertainment. I'm fine with them telling me how I'm going to get it, at what rate and everything. If you're not, well, maybe you find another entertainment medium. I'm not the person trying to drag you to magic. I'm probably trying to push your ass away because you're part of a toxic part of the community, so get the hell out. That's fine. That's what ranting's about, right? Just get the hell out because you're not part of the solution. You're really the problem. So the other part of that I want to talk just a little bit about is I feel like there's probably a really good chance that this was not a this was not a leak in the traditional sense. This was not a a oops, somebody did something they weren't supposed to or didn't want to happen. I think this might have been a controlled leak by Wizards. And I got a couple reasons for that. First off, there's a huge complexity issue with this set because of many things. I mean, there's the new sagas, the historic. There's also the fact that it is Dominaria and it's going to be hard to kill. It's going to be hard to kill the buzz that Dominaria has because there is just enough old time magic players and people who know the, the nostalgia of it. It's going to be hard to kill the buzz for this set. So I don't think the leak is going to, I don't think it's going to put a damper on the buzz for this particular set. 
I also think the leak of this this uh, release notes was probably intentional, helping get that info out there. I mean, release notes generally have pictures of cards in them, and this one didn't. Uh, a friend of mine pointed that out. I hadn't really noticed that, but that was a good point. Uh, and like I said, the, the Planeswalker redirection rule uh, changing, that is a huge thing. So um, just a lot of things in this point me towards maybe this was a controlled leak by Wizards. Building hype a little soon, but you're not going to lose the hype. And I think it was fine. Um, I'm still not super happy about it. It, it. Whether it was intentional or non-intentional, I'm still not happy about it. I think I'd have been okay. But I am a more enfranchised player versus some less enfranchised players, so I get that. But I believe, I believe there's a good shot that this maybe wasn't uh, an accidental leak of, of what we're looking at. So anyway, that's a little bit about leaks and the internet. And, you know, just, you know, in general, as human beings, just because you can do something or do know something, it does not mean that needs to be public knowledge or that you should do it. Use some common sense. Use some intelligence that hopefully you have. And maybe make some choices that aren't always easy um, instead of just going, yeah. So anyway, that's that's one man's viewpoint. Um, the other thing I'm going to talk about today is another suggestion that was put in the post of a couple videos ago is about uh, Commander. And you can, you can look back. I talk about Commander a lot in some other videos. So go watch those. I'm not going to rehash them for you. But... Commander players, uh, I, I'm a believer in the casual commander aspect. If you're a competitive commander player, then you're wrong, but have fun. Um, I'm, I'm not going to stop you as long as you got a group doing that. That's fine. Uh, again, watch my other videos. Um, but um, <sighs> quit using the Internet as your sole source of deck building. EDH Rec is, is a... It's a great resource, I suppose, especially for newer players that maybe don't know all the stuff's available. Uh, so I can see that being a place that players would like to go. But quit just copy-pasting. Quit just doing what everybody else is doing. Part of the things about Magic that I like is the individual expressionism of it. And Commander is one of the places where that can really shine. Uh... Constructed isn't a really good place for it because there's only so many archetypes that really fit in. Modern's getting to be pretty diverse, but you know normally you can't really express yourself in standard if you want to be competitive. So let's go to the casual side. In Commander, you can express yourself and you can do deck building that's not just the same fucking thing another guy's doing, right? So quit taking the low-hanging fruit and and do something that that's neat different uh that changes things up uh i mean a good way to get started commander is always to buy one of these uh you know pre-made decks you know that's a great way to get started but then when you start modifying it you can always do something unique with it uh one of the best examples i can give you is that atraxa from a couple years ago the low-hanging fruit on that was to just do proliferate on counters but the lowest hanging fruit of all was to do a super friends build and that means you just put a bunch of planeswalkers in it and you just ultimate like crazy and you just do all the stupid shit you can do with planeswalkers and yay for you you are so non-original um if you want to do something i know somebody maybe i'm giving this out here but you know do something that's not the norm do something with counters because that's what she does so you build around that that's fine but maybe use the counters that people don't use very often this is very similar to what I once told somebody about their Krinko deck for Commander. If you want to build a Krinko deck, there's lots of Goblin stuff out there. And Krinko is very speedy and fast. But how about you don't put any Goblin cards in your Krinko deck, or you put a small number instead of you just exploding with Goblins. Put Build Krinko around spells that make Goblins. That's a little bit more creative, you know. And other than just the low-hanging fruit of the obvious commanders, take some non-obvious commanders and build around them in maybe non-obvious ways. I mean, I've recently built a Phoenix deck, and it has a very big Mills uh, component in it, obviously, because it's Phoenix. 
but I also went with a zombie theme. So my idea is really to mill you with the zombies I create. And a little bit of reanimator and everything. So it's a little bit of a twist. I got a mono red deck that's built on phoenixes and recurring them. Uh, using Squee as my commander because he's recursive. I get to pitch him to different things. So, you know, Squee is not a powerhouse, but he's a lot of fun. So if you're going to make a commander deck, use your imagination, try some different things, be a fun person because commander is about fun and quit doing the shit that everybody else is doing. Uh, don't build the deck like your buddy built and make it a little bit better. Don't build the deck against your buddy because you know what he's doing and you know what will beat him. There's no fun in that. Build something original. Put some stuff together. Do some things that are unexpected, mainly because nobody else has thought of them, or at least nobody in your play group. So anyway, that's, that's kind of my rant for this week. Um, once again, leave me some ideas in the post, in the bottom, in the comments, or don't. Uh, it's a free country still as far as the last time I checked, you know. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.